Hello. So we are back from our trip over to, uh, from Anderson Island. That was the first time I've ever been to Anderson Island that I know of. Um, it was a lot of fun. Uh, the tri we it, it's so funny. It's so ironic that we were using navigation to get to a park and the park didn't it, it just took us to like a dead-end street and there are no you know signs of trails that um, there were trails but they said that it was private property um, and then we used the navigation to get to another park and that and the navigation uh, just it was the same thing it just took us down a, a, a street that said private property dead end or um, whatever it was and then um, and then we shut the navigation off and I was like hey mom try using your intuition to get us there and lo and behold she did and uh, we ended up finding the park um, without the navigation just you know just going our own way and uh, and it was really cool you know I just um, I suggested that you know that she just focused on things that um, that she related to or that helped her you know that made her feel good or just kind of reminded her of something that brought back a good memory um, following her intuition and letting her intuition guide her that way I'm you know I can't say that that did um, did help her but maybe it did if it did uh, it, her intuition definitely got us there and you know those are just a little uh, some other little practices that I put in everyday life um, learning more about energy and manifesting and um, and following intuition is also a huge part of the a huge piece of the puzzle um, we uh, we did have a really good time. The hike was great. Uh, I, I did include a video of Anderson Island in, in Washington um, after this video. Um, just really quick, I, I, I really wanted to share this just really quick. Um, my mom, she has these tomato plants. She has uh, cherry tomatoes and then just, you know, uh, romaine or romaine or Roman tomatoes, I believe. I think that's what they are. Um, and she, like her tomato plants, they're just, they just produce so much, so many tomatoes. And, you know, we're trying to, you know, they were trying to figure out what, you know, we can use them for. So the other day I used, um, I used a whole, whole bunch of tomatoes from the garden to make, um, uh, to spaghetti sauce, but you can, but this mix, you can also make, um, uh, use the tomatoes. So I, I used tomatoes. Um, an onion and some jalapeno. She has jalapeno in, you know, in the garden as well. So I use the jalapeno. If you don't use the seeds, if you don't like spicy stuff, don't use the seeds. But the, um, uh, but the jalapeno, like the pepper itself, it isn't as hot as the seeds that that's where all the heat comes from is the seeds. So, you know, remove the seeds if you don't want anything spicy. Um, uh, and then I also added, you know, some water and tomato paste, um, just for the, um, um, for the spaghetti sauce and then, and let that simmer on the stove for, I don't know, 45 minutes to an hour, just however long, you know, until the onion is, is soft. Um, uh, so, you know, if, if you do have tomatoes and you're like, oh, I have so many tomatoes, I don't know what to do with them. Um, I also use that mix too, to make chili, um, homemade chili. I, you know, I really, I just love doing stuff like that, using food from the garden is, is really, is always the best, um, the food, you can always tell, you know, it's good on your stomach, and, um, you know, it's, uh, it's a, a really great way to stay connected to organic and, um, you know, natural ingredients, um, I noticed, uh, in our neighborhood, we have apples just falling off trees and rotting on the ground, and, you know, I always think, you know, if you do see anything like that, um, you know, get, get, take some home, and, uh, you know, just boil some or whatever, make some, uh, applesauce, make some, um, apple cider, uh, you know, there's all kinds of things that you can use for that, and, um, you know, it is kind of sad seeing here in Washington, we have, we produce so much here, and, um, and, uh, there was actually somebody who visited, it was, this was years ago, but somebody who visited from Africa and, and he, you know, and he was looking around, he's like, I can't believe all of this food is going to waste. And, and yeah, and you know, we really don't pay attention to things like that because we're so used to, um, you know, to our trees producing food and, and, you know, and always having the supply of food here in Washington, it, it grows, um, it grows like weeds here. I mean, we have food here everywhere. Um, I did find some hazelnuts on the trail today, only like three of them, 
but you know, I'm going to roast them and just see what I can, you know, what I can do with those. Uh, uh, anyway, um, hope everybody's doing all right. And I'll, uh, I'll include the recipe here in the description box, um, for the, the tomato sauce and the chili. If you want to try it, I did use meatless, um, uh, you know, um, uh, meatless meat. <laughs> That was the first time that I've ever tried it, and uh, it it's pretty good in the spaghetti sauce. I even out of the spaghetti sauce, I made lasagna out of it, and um and yeah, it was a huge win for the family. Like my stepdad and my mom, uh, really loved the lasagna. I had a piece of it yesterday, and and I gotta say, <laughs> not trying to toot my own horn, but it was some really good lasagna. If you like lasagna. Um, the tomato sauce in this recipe is great for lasagna. I'll even include the lasagna recipe um, if you want to try that. It's it's great, I, and I really enjoyed that that recipe. Um, hope everybody's doing okay, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. <music>